So, um, I'm printing on a floor tile. It's a kind of looped fabric and it's about five millimeters thick. So I've made a screen which is set up to that height and the screen's lowered. The, the silk will be just above that surface. And that's that centered according to my registering blocks I've got pinned here. So I bring the frame over and I have to top up the ink. So first of all, I'm moving some of the ink from the last pull back up to the top and then adding some from this part and this ink is a water-based one so it will be easy to clean from the screen it's also designed for fabrics so that after it is cured it will be serviceable that means it can be washed it can be scrubbed and most important in this case it can put up with the wear and tear of being walked on daily and being cleaned by the cleaners with industrial machines. In order to cure the zinc, it has to be pressed under heat. And we have a heat press here in the school to do that. So that's topped up with ink. In addition, I have ink left on the squeegee from the last pull. So I'm just going to take that off and bring it back onto the squeegee so it's near the bottom edge. And then with the new ink, I'm just pulling across quite slowly and watching the roll of ink filling up the grain of the mesh. This mesh is quite a coarse grain. It's got a thread count of 32, which is really a lot coarser than you would use for printing on paper, for example. And the idea is that it is more open and will allow more ink to flow through. So having spread ink on the surface and pushed it into the grain of the mesh, I'm now going to do my first pull, putting quite a bit of pressure on the squeegee and moving it in one stroke from top to bottom and what that's doing is pumping the ink through the screen onto the surface below. And I can have a little check. I suspect that it's a bit light towards the bottom edge. Yeah, it's a little bit light here and here. So I'm going to do a second pull. I'm collecting the ink from the last one, taking it to the top and spreading it into the grain of the mesh, being quite generous, leaving quite a, a thick film on the surface. And now I do my pull once again, pushing quite hard top to bottom in one stroke and I'm just going to do a little extra at the bottom there. Now let's see the result. There we are. Quite happy with that. One printed floor tile.